Stuart. Hi, Stuart. Lovely to meet you. I'm Jerome, and I'm from JKK Space, and I'm gonna, we're just going to ask you a few questions just about your whole look. Inspiration, I guess, it was uh, Cold Boxing. It's you know, the fashion brand from down in uh, London. Wow. I pretty much, I've ripped them off completely with, oh, like, really? the, well, this is their jumper, and then I've got the cost joggies on, which I quite like their nylon trackies that they have. But I thought I would kind of change it with the Lacoste because, I don't know, I suit these better, I think. Um, and then a pair of Birkenstocks. Now the sun's out a little, it's kind of gone away now. But I like the Birkenstocks look with the socks, to be fair. Oh, about the shoes as well, where are they from? So they're Birkenstocks. So okay. they're, yeah, I actually got them from the shop next door. So they are. So, so cool, I love that. I was honestly just going for a kind of lazy day, to be honest, and I just kind of threw this on. Um, I was just coming up to do a bit of work in Glasgow. Uh, I work not far away from here and thought I'd throw on a pair of tracky bottoms and a hoodie, to be honest. There was no inspiration. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I definitely think it's important to have a personal style. Um, there's a few people, Instagram is something, so the guy called uh, Daniel Simmons, uh, I really like him. Sorry to say, it is a workout fit, but aside from that, um... I don't know, platform Don Martins because I'm 5'7 and need to need to pack up my hair a little bit. Uh, sort of more baggy suit trousers that, I don't know, less boring than normal ones. Uh, this is a basic black shirt. Um, this is a vintage jacket that I I'm, I've love anything that has like shoulder pads on it. Sort of kind of bring out that 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 sort of physique. Uh, I, I wouldn't know myself, but I want to say it's maybe 60s. And then always, I don't like leaving the house without any rings. Oh, it's um, it's a show of personality. It's a show of character. It's uh, I think it's it's it it describes someone before you get to know them. It's the it's the the first time you, that you lay eyes on someone. It and also it's 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 I think it's good for conforming. It's good for seeing someone that if you because if you look at someone and think they're cool, then that's someone that you maybe want to be or want to dress like. That's someone that you want to get on with. It. it, it it separates groups but also kind of like creates different cultures and groups and it's important to have your own style to find yourself and the people that you connect with. Yeah, I have I have one linen shirt that I think I got for, I've not even price checked to see if it is worth anything. I think it's like, a, I think I bought it for like £1.50 and it was it's, it's a really beautiful linen shirt but it fits me really well and I, I, it's my most treasured possession. I think I'd, I'd be dead without it. That's, <laughs> Okay, so we're out for lunch with our mum for our birthday. So, mine is a long trench coat, leather, um, a Zara blazer. This is a pre-marked jumpsuit, uh, belt, and some jewellery from TK Maxx. I love the layering of the jewellery. Okay, like, why did you think that would work as well? Um, an idea? Just to just amazing. yeah, just to for to put something because it was so plain underneath. Yeah, so obviously I'm limited with the uh, bump, so always looking for kind of classics. I tend to stick to sort of, I'm less colourful than my sister, but um, <laughs> start with like a black, plain black dress or black jeans and then just a little Zara over shirt and then the trench coat again, just to kind of bring in the season and the style, but yeah. Um, I like to be slightly quirky, different, um, but still bring in what's kind of in fashion as well, yeah, but my own style. Um, I think just as you grow up and you mature into your own style, you it's good to have something that you can stick to and that you know what suits you rather than feeling uncomfortable by trying, you know, it's always good to try new things, but if you know what your kind of general style is, then stick into that and it's a good place to start. Uh, my bags, my bag that goes across because um, it's just ideal rather than having a shoulder bag, I prefer body. Yeah, handbags, we've got a <laughs> handbag addiction, so yeah. yeah. Um, well, the info was, I woke up bunged up with hay fever and thought I need to brighten my life. So I'm on antihistamine and I went pink today. These are more or less all hand-me-downs. These I got from Depop. Um, this is my auntie's, it's kind of got bits of paint on it. I've got like three different tops on underneath. They're all like hand-me-downs as well. I got this for my birthday for my mum, because <laughs> I paint a lot of skeletons. <laughs> 
Uh, got these the other day. Don't know. I just normally I dress a little bit more like scruffy because I'm painting all the time. But because I was just moving out of studio today, I thought let me just. And your mother was coming. And my mum was coming. <laughs> I was like, let me just dress a little bit nicer. <laughs> Um, I think fashion is, is great. I like fashion. Um, but I do think, especially as you age, you acquire a bit of style in your life. But it's important, I think, to stay fashionable, to stay relevant, but not to be at the cutting edge. You know, the cutting edge is for this generation. <laughs> ah, trainers. Probably the same. Yeah. Yeah, there's a generational thing for yeah. you. Now that that generation has got this generation out of shoes, I don't think we're ever going to go back. In fact, that's where we're going. We're going in there to pick up a yeah, pair we're that she... Buy her. Yeah. She's going to buy her first pair of Jordans. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting my first pair of Jordans today. Well, it wasn't planned, to be honest. And I don't know, we came from the same house and... We just find ourselves wearing similar colors. Yeah. So. I mean, yesterday was my birthday, so oh, birthday. thank you. <laughs> so just got another process today, like let's go out, let's play some games, and then just put put it together, and that's it. Um, JTO. Yeah. Personally, I don't. I don't yeah. think. I, don't I think, think so. I look up to JTO. Yeah. A jacket. I think jacket or eyeglasses. Yeah. I think I mean, so. mostly most times just lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not right now. Yeah, I like, yeah, I mean, all the time, like, I have them, but it's dried right now. <laughs> but I'm in my bag. Um, well, it's really comfy, and I don't like wearing trousers because. I think they're not very comfy, so I wear a lot of skirts and dresses, and it's really baggy, so um, I can do whatever I want in it. <laughs> and the jacket, I just loved it, and I thought I saw it was in Urban Outfitters, I think, and I just, you know, I don't always shop there, but sometimes they'll just have one thing that I just really love, and I thought, that's great, and I love the oh, colour, <laughs> and I think the colour can go like, it can be autumn, or spring, or winter, so it's... it's covers all the seasons. <laughs> well, I had a meeting today because I I'm, I'm do print design, so I had a meeting about that. So I was like, oh, I'll try to go professional, but also don't want to be like too overboard. <laughs> so that's why I was like, oh, I'll go with the dress trousers and things, but again. Um, I think it like shows a bit of who you are and your personality and like I'm really girly and um, I like lots of colour and stuff so I think that I try and show that off with what I wear a little bit. But yeah. I don't want everyone to look the same. Well it shows a bit of you I guess. Um, obviously because I did art at uni and things it's more you want to show your personality and what you wear and you don't want everyone to look like a clone of each other. That's boring, you don't want that so. Just show who you are, I guess. <laughs> my Doc Martens. Yeah, I wear my Docs every, not today, but usually every day. <laughs> um, probably the, this jacket. <laughs> and also, I have a mushroom dress and it's um, by Megan Crosby, who's uh, like an independent designer. And I wear it everywhere because it's so good quality and it's like muted palette but it's got like little mushrooms on it so I can use it for everything which That's is so probably I wear it all the time, yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually, today is absolutely random. I'm, I just came from the airport, so I needed to be comfy. Wow. Yeah. Can you show yep. us the inside as well? Uh, we got, this is a brand from Berlin, UI clothing, this is uh, pants, bit wow. Yozy style as well. Vintage shirt, uh, Gucci. Good. It's quite practical. Uh, it's a wallet on a chain. I like it. The shoes are really comfy from Salomon, that's it. Uh, because, I mean, uh, on Instagram, on online, everything looks the same at this point, so you should always pick something that is different for you, I think, otherwise. Uh, this bag, yes, it's so practical, I love it. It's small, it fits a phone, I swear. A lipstick, a mirror, and your money, so... <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like it, but for real, <laughs> so...
I like fashion. I don't know, like, I love secondhand fashion, so everything I wear is secondhand. Um, this is secondhand, and then I've got my dad's jumper on. And then these are, like, Face by Finn trousers from Depop. Um, yeah, so they're brilliant. Uh, and that's it. I just, everything's secondhand. Buy secondhand, because yes. it's better for the environment. Um, I don't know, man. I just got a bit of matching going on it's i'm gonna sound way more basic in comparison but um i think this is h&m and these are just like asos uh the jacket was a birthday present from my best mate um the rings are just like from different vintage shops um i don't know it's feeling a little sort of light wash today i don't know i don't think that much about it but i'm, I'm very flattered i think style is very uh reflective of personality um, and definitely emulates you as a person um, so I like my style to be quite well I take inspiration from uh, a lot of vintage fashion for example like I love vintage punk fashion like Vivian Westwood um, um, pieces like that and so I think it just emulates you as a person which is like why I think it's important to have your own personal style yeah I'm gonna just mostly agree I think it's important for self-expression um, it's not something that everybody's kind of into, but I feel like you are like passively without even realizing you, you pick these clothes and it says something about you. We were just talking earlier, um, we're sort of drama students and a lot of drama schools make you wear just all black. And I, I don't really like it because I think it takes away that individuality. And when you're kind of uniforming people like that, it takes away what makes you sort of you in a sense. It's an important thing, I think. Um, just that kind of freedom to pick, you know, what you want to wear. These, I have three pairs of these trousers. I can't live without them. I wear them all the time. I have a black pair, a blue pair, and a white pair. And I just wear them all the time. So they're my staple item. I've got a lot of rings that are quite like sentimental that I really love. Um, there's a pair of cargos I have that I wear quite a lot um, that just go with so much. So I, yeah, yeah.